guys, how you doing? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live. And today I want to speak to you about a new gold company called Stevens Gold, symbol SG on the Canadian Securities Exchange, STVGF in the OTCQB in America Exchange, and 311 in Frankfurt, Germany. This is their website, stevensgold.com. Gold exploration in the Oatman Mining District in Arizona. And they are listed on the Canadian Securities Exchange. You could see currently sitting at 32 and a half cents. And in the last three months, it is clearly trending up. One of the things I really like about this company is the share structure. 39 million shares issued outstanding with 7 million reserved for issuance. So 46 million shares total issued outstanding is very, very tight for the company. That's on the CSE. And then currently in America, you can see that they are listed STVGF on the OTC markets and it just started to trade. So it's just started to trade in America. So the, literally this is just getting started. And if we look at the Canadian side, SG, Stevens Gold, you can see that this over the last year has been as low as 23 cents, as high as 33 cents. So we're very close to the high, high. So this is a stock that is trending up. Mind you, I've never heard of it before. So this is the first time myself or anyone's even looked into this as far as I'm concerned. So I believe that this is a story that's just getting started. Stevens Gold Nevada Inc. With pure gold prices hitting new highs in 2020, investors are just beginning to push into junior gold miner stocks. Stevens Gold Inc. is a gold exploration company focused on acquiring mineral properties, including the unexplored 1,920-acre Millennium Gold property in southwestern Arizona. The property is in the general vicinity of the Oatman Mining District, which holds over 2 million ounces of Bonanza-grade gold and Equinox Cast Mountain Open Pit Gold Pit Mine with historic production of 1.1 million ounces of gold. Gold continues to be a strong safe haven trade for investors, last trading at 1,890. Gold has pulled back from a 52-week high of 2,089. But an analysts believe gold could be setting up for a rally to 4,000 over the next three years. Gold is one of the most undervalued assets, says Elliott Management's Paul Singer. Billionaire Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has pushed into gold stocks. Junior gold mining companies like Stevens Gold Nevada could be a prime position to capitalize on the rush of gold. With plenty of fear in the markets, uncertainty, and low interest rates, gold is one of the top opportunities on the market. In fact, since bottoming out at 1450 an ounce in March 2020, gold ran to an August 2020 high of 2089 good for a return of 44% in months. You can see the chart of gold, very, very bullish. But does gold still have room to run higher? Absolutely, with a good amount of fear, uncertainty, low risk rates, low interest rates, the Federal Reserve's balance sheet expansion, and understated inflation, gold could be setting up for another breakout. Plus, consider this, nothing is safer than gold, according to the amount of gold being hoarded by central banks all over the world. In fact, in late 2019, the purchases of gold hit a 50-year high. Every time one of the banks cuts a nation's interest rate or fuels the country's private banks with stimulus, they cite a weak economy, lack of liquidity, and rising inflation. However, most people don't know that while central planners are toying with the global economy, they're also purchasing gold in mass quantity, reports Bitcoin.com. It's quite easy to see gold going to 4000 even Warren Buffett is a fan of gold investments these days, and we're not the only ones that see gold prices going higher. Frank Holmes, CEO of U.S. Global Investors, we've not seen this level where central banks are printing money at a zero interest rate. At zero interest rates, gold becomes a very, very attractive asset class. Elliott Management's Paul Singer still says gold is one of the world's undervalued assets available and that its fair value is multiples of its current price. Some of the top beneficiaries of the new gold rush are miners. The real beneficiaries of the gold rush have been the gold miners. For one, as the value of gold in the ground increases, 
it's easier for miners to make money. Investors gain, begin to gain notice and related stocks begin to push higher. In fact, if you look at the Vanek Vector Gold Miners ETF, it has vastly outperformed the broader market as gold prices shot higher over the last year, according to CNBC. Very interesting chart. In addition to MBMG Group Managing Director Paul Gambles, as quoted by CNBC, we have started buying gold mining stocks and we are likely to hold those way beyond this election because we think that they would benefit from stimulus, but we also think that they would benefit from the chaos of the American presidential election. The Fed's low interest rates and easy money policies are in place. Higher inflation is nearing. Both could drive the gold boom and miners to higher highs. And so many people are saying that gold is going to boom and this is the beginning, so stay tuned. Stevens Gold Nevada is one of the junior gold miners to watch. At the moment, the company is identifying drill targets and has plans to commence drilling this year in the underexplored Millennium Gold property located three miles northeast of Lake Havansu City in southwestern Arizona in the Oatman Mining District. The property consists of three state mineral leases totaling 1,920 acres as in the general vicinity of the Oatman Mining District with over 2 million ounces of Bonanza grade gold and Equinox's Cast Mountain Open Pit Gold Mine with historic production of 1.1 million ounces of gold. Some of the top regional gold companies show 4.27 million. Stevens Gold Potential include 2.56 billion Equinox Gold Corp. Its Castle Mountain Gold Mine is 75 miles northwest of the Millennium property. That's interesting. The proven and probable ore reserves at Castle Mountain Gold Mine are estimated to be 197.6 million tons of ore containing 3.6 million ounces. Wow. It produces more than 1 million ounces of gold from 1992 to 2004. The first phase of development is expected to run for three years and is forecasted to produce an average of 45,000 ounces of gold a year. The second phase from years four to 16 is anticipated to produce an average of 203 ounces of gold, 203,000 ounces of gold. Wow. 165 million Northern Vertex Mining Corp. With a 100% Moss Gold Mine in Northwest Arizona, the company just announced plans to proceed with an accelerated 2.5 million, 13,700 meter phase two infill drilling and resource expansion on the property. It's seeing a new monthly production record of 4,733 an ounce of gold produced. It also saw six consecutive days of 200 plus ounce daily production in October 2020. 50.1 million Care Mines Inc. The company acquired the Copperstone Gold Mine in Arizona back in 2014. It's fully permitted with significant mining infrastructure, mineral resources, and processing infrastructure in place. Copperstone Mine is located in La Paz County in Western Arizona within the Walker Lane Mineral Belt where it intersects gold provinces in Southern California and Western Arizona. These provinces host a total known gold endowment of over 40 million ounces of gold. Wow, these are some impressive properties. For Stevens Gold Nevada, it's all about location. At the moment, the company property consists of three state mineral leases totaling 1,920 acres and is in the general vicinity of the Oatman Mining District with over 2 million ounces Bonanza grade gold and Equinox Cast Mountain Open Pit Gold Mine with historic production of 1.1 million ounces of gold. Gold mineralization is the strongest on the property in massive to briciated rhyolite volcanic rocks. However, gold is also present in chlorite and hematite altered andesite volcanic rocks as well. Gold values range from 0.2 grams a ton to 0.8 grams a ton in this unit, notes the company. Better yet, the mines are easily accessible. The Millennium property can be accessed by a combination of paved and gravel roads and is within two miles of Lake Hamvasu City. Access to the city is by road via Arizona State Route 95. The airport is within six miles. Zero KV electric transmission line quarter is in its area. Plus, once Stevens Gold Nevada starts mining in the region, it could be a prime beneficiary of the rich history of gold in the region. In addition to a according to its 
NI43101, which is enormous for gold miners. The Millennium property is an early stage, underexplored, low sulfidation, volcanic hosted epithermal gold deposit with geological similarities in style of mineralization and alteration to other nearby epithermal deposits, including the Castle Mountain Mine and the Moss Mine. Epic. The presence of these and numerous other epithermal gold deposits in the general area of the Millennium property indicates the district as fertile exploration terrain and has good potential for additional deposits. Don't we love finding early stage winners? This is how we do it. Just research. Got to do the research. The bottom line with Stevens Gold Inc., SG in Canada, STVGF in America, Stevens Gold Nevada Inc. offers a ter interesting opportunity to chase increasing gold prices. With gold demand only set to increase, coupled supply falling to keep pace, creating opportunity for on-the-ground junior miners like 4.27 million nanocap Stevens Gold Nevada Inc. Company's property consists of three state mineral leases totaling 1,920 acres and is in the general vicinity of the Oatman Mining District with over 2 million ounces of Bonanza grade gold and Equinox Cast Mountain open pit gold mine with historic production of 1.1 million ounces. Successful mining could be a big catalyst for this small up and coming stock. Stevens Gold Nevada offers an interesting opportunity to chase rising gold prices. Remember, with a good amount of fear, uncertainty, low uncertainty, low interest rates, the Federal Reserve's balance sheet expansion, and understated inflation, gold could be setting up for another breakout, and we're not the only ones who think so. Right here, it says, it's quite easy to see gold going to 4,000. Frank Holmes, CEO of U.S. Global Investors, we've not seen this level where central banks are printing money at a zero interest rate. At zero interest rates, gold becomes a very, very attractive asset class, and I agree 100%. The top six reasons why Stevens Gold Nevada is a smart investment. Gold is a safe haven in times of uncertainty and fear. Investors are pushing into gold, sending the metal to an all-time high, and good amount of fear, uncertainty, low interest rates, and Federal Reserve balance sheet expansion, and understated inflation. Number two, gold prices could run to 4,000 an ounce in the next three years. It's quite easy to see gold going to 4,000. Frank Holmes, CEO at U.S. Global Investors. Number three, stimulus could send gold to higher highs. According to MBMG Group Managing Director Paul Gambles, as quoted by CNBC, we have started buying gold mining stocks and we are likely to hold those way beyond the election because we think they would benefit from stimulus, but we also think that they would benefit from the chaos of the American presidential election. Gold miners continue to outperform. The real beneficiaries of the gold rush have been the gold miners. For one, as the value of gold in the ground increases, it's easier for miners to make money. Investors begin to notice and related stocks begin to push higher. In fact, if you look at the Vanek Vectors Gold Miners ETF, it has vastly outperformed the broader market as gold prices shot higher over the last year, according to CNBC. Location, location, location. The company's property consists of three state mineral leases totaling 1,920 acres and is in the general vicinity of the Oatman Mining District with over 2 million ounces of Bonanza grade gold and Equinox's Cast Mountain open pit gold mine with historic production of 1.1 million ounces of gold. I want to show you something on OTC markets. I'm looking for small baby market caps, companies that are growing, companies that have a chance to really explode. And I believe this is one of those companies. I really believe this is one of those companies. You can see all their news. Just got listed on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Just got DTC eligibility. And let's take a look at their US symbol, STVGF. Uh, STVGF. Fully reporting bulletin board company. That's what we like to see, meaning it's up to date on its filings. And then if you go to security details, let's look at this baby market cap. Look at the market cap. Under a 10 million market cap, 23 million in the float, this is a beauty. This is a beauty. If this grows to a 100 million market cap, that means we have a chance for 9x on your money. Unbelievable here. Stevens Gold looks really, really interesting to me. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. 
always consult a financial advisor before you invest in anything that you hear about or see here on Rich TV Live. Do your due diligence, okay? If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Let's talk about the big potential. To give you an idea of the potential in the region for this 4.27 million company, 2.56 billion Equinox Gold Corp operates nearby. In fact, its Castle Mantle Gold mine reserves are estimated to be 197.6 million tons of ore containing 3.6 million ounces. Massive. It produced more than 1 million ounces of gold from 1992 to 2004. The first phase of development is expected to run for three years and is forecasted to produce an average of 45,000 ounces of gold a year. Second phase from years four to 16 is anticipated to produce an annual average of 203,000 ounces of gold. Wow. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is pretty huge. And I think that this is a company that you should put on your radar and put on your watch list. Stevens Gold Nevada Inc. Baby market cap, tight share structure, and literally just getting started. Let me know what you guys think. This is your boy from Rich to be live, and I'm out.